Hello everyone and welcome to another Unity shader tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can create an unlit texture shader uh, using vertex and fragment shaders in Unity. And if you haven't watched the introduction video I would recommend watching that. But if you already know how to create a fragment and vertex shader um, you can go ahead and continue watching. So first what we had before is the shader right here. And we'll be using we'll be reusing a lot of this. So in Unity now, let's go back and create a new shader. So new shader. And this will be a standard surface shader. And let's call this unlit texture. Unlit text. And then we can open this one up. And we'll just copy everything we had in the last one and paste it here. So in here, it will be unlit text for the shader name, and everything else can stay the same. Um, we'll just rearrange that. There we go. We have the past right here. Okay, so now that we have everything set up, we can get go ahead and get started on our shader. Um, let's first attach it to our material. So we'll go to tutorials and we'll do onlet texture. As you can see so far, it's still the same as the old one. Uh, now let's create uh, our texture property. And for that, we'll call it main text. And this will be called texture. So here is the uh, property name. And this is whatever name you want to uh, you want it to show within Unity. And then 2D is going to be equal to white and open and close brackets. And white just means that if this if this variable or this property was not given any value, it'll just be pure white. Now if we go back, as you can see, it showed up right here. And now we can assign it a texture. So I have a texture right here. Um, so it's just a simple checker texture and I'll convert it from sprite to texture and the wrap mode I'll make it repeat and then apply and assign it to my shader. There we go. As you can see Unity uh, automatically adds the tiling and offset variables here and we will use that in a second. So now that we have these we need to change our vertex input and output a little bit because now we only have position but we also need the UV values for the vertex. So we'll do float2 UVs and this will be a text chord 0 and over here it will be another float2 UV text chord 0. So this is for the vertex input and output. We will also need to include the unity cg dot um, cg inc. There we go. And we will need a few variables. Um, we probably don't need the world position anymore, and we don't need to return this for now. So we will not need this as well. So this is all we're going to need for now. Uh, we will need a sampler 2D. And this has to always be the same name as your texture that you gave right here. So the same as the property name. As well as a float4, which will be underscore main text underscore st. And this also needs to be the same name underscore st at the end. And this, val this variable right here holds both values for the tiling and the offset. So the X and Y will be the tiling and the um, Z and W will be the offsets, X and Y. Okay, so now that we have all this, we can go ahead and do our uh, transformation on the UV. So I uh, or O dot UV is going to be equal to transform underscore text. And this, this will take uh, I dot UV, so the input UV, as well as the underscore main text. 
And what this does is that it transforms the texture or transforms the UVs to match um, whatever is main underscore ST. Now moving on, we can go ahead and do our return. So we'll do return text 2D and this will take underscore main text as well as our I dot UV. And now if we go to Unity, as you can see, you have now a texture object that is not affected by lighting. If I try to change the tiling, it changes on the X and Y and the offset changes as well. So let's return that back to one and one, the offset zero and zero. And let's add one more a variable here for a color. Let's say we want to uh, multiply this texture by a color. For that, we'll, it's the same process. So let's do underscore color and we'll call this one color. And the type will be color, which will be equal to 1.0, 1.0, 1.0, and 1.0. So this is just a color that starts off being white. As you can see, it added it here. And all the way down here, we can just say, um, we will probably need to add it here as well. So we'll say have four underscore color, just the same name as here. And over here, we'll say underscore color multiplied by whatever the texture is at that position. And now if we go back here and try to change the color, as you can see, you, multi you can multiply a color by it. And you can do the same thing um, that we did here. And then, but instead of using underscore color, you can use uh, what we did here and multiply it by the texture to make it change color depending on where the object is in the, in the world, as well as apply a texture to it as well. And so that should be it for a quick introduction to the onlet shaders and using a vertex and fragment shader. As you can see, the light here, if we try to rotate it, it's not affected by it at all. Uh, maybe I'll add uh, another video later on showing you how to add fog to it and maybe uh, some diffuse lighting. So thank you very much for watching. I really hope this video helped. Uh, if you have any suggestions, comments, or feedback, please leave them below. Uh, again, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.